jail time for government officials that obstruct ICE raids. Iowa Congressman Steve King, an outspoken critic of sanctuary policies, introduces the Mayor Libby Shaft Act of 2018, a pointed reference to the Oakland mayor's warning to illegal immigrants that there might be ICE enforcement raids. Simply shot down and killed. Iowa Congressman Steve King has been an outspoken critic of sanctuary cities. And how is it that these cities, and now the state of California, have carved themselves out an exception. On Monday, the Republican announced he's introduced a bill, H.R. 5884, which he calls the Mayor Libby Schaff Act of 2018, a pointed reference to the Oakland mayor's February warning to illegal immigrants that there might be ICE enforcement raids. In a statement, King said, under my bill, government officials who tip off illegal aliens about imminent federal immigration enforcement efforts could face up to five years in prison. I want lawless sanctuary city politicians to hear this message clearly. If you obstruct ICE, you are going to end up in the cooler. I am not going to be bullied by the Trump administration. I can tell you that I know a lot more about keeping my community safe than some Congress member from Iowa. Mayor Schaff said she stands by her actions. I remain without regrets with informing my community about their legal rights. President Trump last week suggested the Attorney General investigate Schaff for obstruction of justice. UC Hastings Law Professor David Levine says there is already federal code covering obstruction of justice, but it requires corrupt intent or specific action. There was nothing specific, no specific time, place, manner, target in any way. So I don't think she was close to coming to obstruction of justice under existing law. King says the bill would make Schaaf's actions criminal by making it unlawful for any officer, employee, or agent of a state or political subdivision thereof to obstruct, hinder, delay, or otherwise impede the enforcement of the laws of the United States or to attempt to do so. This is written so broadly, any, any sort of piece of federal law would be protect, ostensibly protected from a challenge by a state or local official. University of San Francisco political science professor James Taylor says it shows how politics have changed the debate on federal and state rights. We have a phenomenon where the blue states and their governors and local leaders at the county and city level will now have to tap into the old Republican and conservative idea of states' rights. So localism now has become a blue phenomenon where it historically had been a red phenomenon. All right, so be sure to share, like, subscribe, and comment down below and tell me how you feel about this report. But other than that, I hope you guys have a great day. Let's make America great again. Peace.